you know, I remember from a few months ago, I made a video talking about a piece of software called Basic 64, which allowed you to essentially compile your basic programs and basically make them run faster. And in that video, I said, programs, when you compile it to machine code, it's not as fast, it's not nearly as fast as it would be if you were to write it directly in machine code. And in today's video, I'd like to actually uh, try that. So I know I implied earlier on in this video that I was going to be writing these programs directly in machine code, but that's not exactly the case. We're going to be using something called assembly language, which is basically like machine code, except we have human readable names for our opcode, as well as we can make these nice labels for our subroutines. And then we use this program called an assembler, which takes the human readable versions of the opcodes and converts them into like the computer readable versions of the opcodes, as well as it takes like our labels and assigns them to memory addresses. I know that was a little bit of an oversimplified explanation of assembly language, but that's the gist of it. It's probably good to mention that I'm also a bit of a noob at it. So there are three things I'm going to be comparing in today's video. Regular old interpreted basic, compiled basic, and then assembly language. So this first program is a really simple one. It just prints out all the characters in the pesky character set. There we go, there's all 255 characters. Here's the compiled basic version. As you can see, it's a fair bit faster. And here's the assembly language version. Let's assemble it here. And, uh, BAM! Yep, that's it. It was that fast. Let's see it again. Okay, and one more time. Although I don't have an exact time for how long that took, I know it was less than 1 30th of a second. So if I open it up in Filmora here and I advance one frame at a time, as you can see, I just advance one frame and the entire thing is there. So yeah, that's how fast it was. So this next example is a little bit hard to explain what it does, but you'll see. It basically like fills the t first 255 character cells with each character, but it's similar to the first one, but it does it like one character at a time. So it fills the entire top 255 cells with the same character and then advances to the next character and fills the entire thing with the next character and then so on and so on. You'll see. And here's the regular basic one running here. Now let's switch to the compiled basic one. As you can see, again, it's a fair bit faster. And now let's look at the machine code one. Yeah, it is going so fast, I can barely identify many of the characters. This really just goes to show just how efficient assembly language is over many higher level languages. Okay, so before I continue on with the third and final example, I'd like to give a bit of a warning that there will be some like flashing lights and colors for this final example, so if that's a problem for you, you can maybe stop watching now because I'll try to keep it short and I have it on this screen here because it's a little too hard on the eyes on the big screen, but uh, yeah, so just a bit of a warning there. So anyway. This final example is really simple. We're just going to be flashing the border color. So let's uh, run the regular basic one here. As you can see, it's updating about three, two to three times per frame. Pretty fast, but sort of not really. Now let's load the piled basic version. As you can see, it's updating quite a bit faster. It's updating like, I don't know, 30 or so times a frame every few scan lines. 
so it's going a fair bit faster. Now on to the live coding part of the video. And I want to do this live because it's... Some people think assembly language is really, really hard and more complicated than other languages, and it is in many ways, but some things, it's actually quite simple, and it's actually can be done easier and quicker in assembly language because just how close to the hardware it is. Here's an example of that. So, Flash is screen border in assembly language. We're just going to start at memory address uh, 1000 hex. Then we're going to increment the value in the screen border register. So we're just gonna go I and C for increment, dollar sign because it's a hex number. And we're just gonna go D zero. That's basically hex for 53280. And then to loop it, we're just going to return to memory address 1000 where we started. And basically that jump, basically just send it back to that memory address to continue execution. And it's essentially an infinite loop. Okay, so now let's assemble and run it. Assembles really quickly. Run it. And bam! Yeah, that is really fast. It's updating like every few pixels, like quite a few times per scan line, which is significantly faster than even the assembled or compiled basic code. This really just goes to show how inefficient many high level languages are, especially like interpreted languages. I'm not, I don't want to like, you know, hate on high level interpreted languages and higher level languages in general. They're really quite great, but it, this is just really cool to look at just how much faster we can make programs run if we write them like directly in machine code essentially and directly write the opcodes instead of having other instructions that translate into opcodes. And it's just amazing how efficient this is and just how like inefficient certain higher level languages are and just how much just how fast computers can just go through instructions so anyway it's, it's just really cool to look at not this but just like at the speed difference between different languages and anyway that concludes today's video hope you maybe found this a little bit interesting a little educational and uh yeah thanks for watching and uh have a great day BAM! Okay, and one more time. BAM! Okay, just one last time. Poof. Okay, just one more time. BAM! Just once again. BAM! Okay, this time for real. BAM! Let's see that again. BAM!